Hi there everyone, I'm Newsday Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday so far. The weekend is looking pretty nice if you don't mind a little heat and humidity, but of course this is the first week in a summer and you know what it's going to feel like it. We're going to enjoy lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s along the shoreline, closer to 90 degrees inland. So yes, a little cooler at the shoreline, not a bad beach day out there, but I want you to know that there is going to be an air quality alert in effect for the shoreline. So if you do have breathing or respiratory issues, you will need to limit your time outdoors. Of course, farther inland, make sure you stay hydrated. Wear those loose, light colored clothes that will reflect the sunshine. And please, especially if you're out at the Travelers Championship, make sure you do take breaks in shaded or air conditioned areas. And of course, the best players, they tee off after one o'clock, so they're really going to be sweating it out for their entire round. Hey, park yourself under a nice shady tree and just stay there. Here's a look at our hour by hour forecast where you can see we will have plenty of sunshine as we head through the afternoon. Overnight, you're going to need to keep those fans and air conditioners going. Things are not going to cool off to the point that you will be able to open up the windows and get some fresh air. Let's do it all over again tomorrow, shall we? As you can see, we'll have lots of sunshine. This particular computer model is hinting at a slim chance of a stray shower, especially closer to the Massachusetts state line. Our models have been pretty inconsistent with that, so I'd be willing to bet most of us are going to stay perfectly dry through the entire weekend. Not the case on Monday. We are going to see increasing clouds Sunday night into Monday morning. We'll start off dry early Monday, enough for your commute. But then as you can see, as we go towards the latter part of the morning, we're going to see some showers and storms move in, all associated with a cold front that will cool us off nicely for Tuesday and Wednesday. A tonight, mainly clear skies. Temperatures will only drop into the mid 60s. Tomorrow, a great beach day, especially with the fact that we'll get a little more of a southerly breeze. That wind coming off the water should help things feel very nice at the shoreline. So we'll still have that moderate humidity. Dew points will be in the low to mid 60s, so you're going to feel the humidity, but it should not feel tropical or oppressive. So here's a look at your eight day shoreline forecast where we get that cold front on Monday with those showers and storms by Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll go back into the sunshine. Temperatures will be cooler in the 70s. The humidity is going to come down, but then of course the numbers start to creep back up Thursday and Friday. In fact, by Friday, it's not only going to be warming up, the humidity will return once again.